Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and we're here with a new part of our Navarre campaign for 1212 AD Total War. So yes, I hope you all had great Christmases and uh, got what you wanted and you were able to spend time with your, your families and stuff. And uh, yeah, and just enjoy, enjoy some time off and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. Hope you'll, hopefully this can, uh, you can sit back, have maybe a bit of mulled wine and uh, enjoy a bit of... Uh, a bit of 12-12. But as you can see, we are planning on uh, invading Seville next. If you watched the last episode, I am building this army up here, ready for the invasion of Seville. I also have an army here, uh, just kind of keeping an eye on uh, this Andalusian army. Well, they're not and Andalusian anymore, or the Almohads, they're just Africans. Um, they now hold these ter this territory here. I've just realized that Aragon's being besieged by none other than the Austrians. So we may have to go over and uh, invade these guys at some point. This might be an excuse for us to uh, just go down and take these territories. If like Aragon gets taken out, we could just send an army up, raise an army, and just go down and conquer all these territories. And that'd be really nice. Uh, be a very sneaky way of uh, getting the land. Uh, we do have a bit of uh, expansion here to do, but we'll do that in a moment. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll uh, end the turn. But uh, yeah, oh, I was going to say, we've got Ordon, who's got uh, some stuff to do. Sanitation, have some, you're a governor, you need sanitation, public order. And then more public order. Well, it's all authority, but it helps the public order up here. That's why I always say it's public order. Like, if you get to, like, level at 10, plus 7 public order, it's huge. Um, what have we got there? What needs converting? Oh, you need some money. Okay. But, yeah, so if you've been enjoying watching this campaign, I would like to see some more of the Navarre campaign. Then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. It's always appreciated, guys. And, uh, yeah, your support for these uh, Let's Plays so far has been amazing. Uh, and I can't thank you guys enough. So, uh, yes, this is, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how this is going. And, uh, yeah, we'll certainly be doing at least one more. Uh, I've got, like, another campaign that I would like to try and, uh, uh, like, do for 12-12. Um, and another campaign for another Total War uh, game that I would like to set up. So we are coming kind of to the end of certainly the HRE one. The Navarre one's got a little bit longer, I think, to run. Luis is uh, not loyal than Labrit. But Labrit is now loyal, I was going to say. We sorted him out. I think we saw how to secure the loyalty of Luis, uh, our queen regent. We're about to, well, Abeko is quite a long way off being done. But there you go. I forgot that we had a uh, we had like no current leader. There we go. We can get the uh, cattle herd in, then we can uh, sort out problems there. Uh, they're not really problems. And then this turn we could declare war on Sevilla, and then we could go and like then they can come over it. Like Portugal, we can be dealing with next. So I'm going to declare war on Sevilla. Um, Castile refused to join our side. Are they and they no longer are allies with me? How very dare they? Um, would they make a new alliance? I doubt it. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Oh, they would actually. Well, that's very rude of you, Castile. You should have joined that war. England joined my war. They're loyal. They'll fight. <laughs> They'll fight Portugal over here for me. Like, I mean, England's still trying to siege down the Welsh, and it still failed to do so. Unless the English are now allied to the Welsh? England are still at war with the Welsh. Not quite sure how they've not put them out of their misery yet. But they are still at war with them. Um, I'm, like, just at war with these three nations here. I did kind of want to make peace with the Almohads. I don't think they're going to the want to make peace. No, didn't think so. Where's that Almohad army? It is still just chilling here. It's not like an... Oh, it is fortified. I was about to say it's not fortified, but it is. They have lots of armies here. This is where Granada's army is, by the way. Fez is slowly rebuilding its uh, garrison and stuff, so we should soon be having that sorted. But yeah, we can take Granada next turn. Uh, and yeah, there we go. That is the plan anyway. Well, not Granada. We can take Sevilla next turn. Though it is the faction of Granada. Very confusing. Oh, and the Almohads are at war with Granada. I did not even realize. Well, that's very useful for us then. So we can take Sevilla without an, without a problem. I don't know if um, Portugal over here has got a decent army. I'm not really sure. Doubt with three summons, I doubt they can build like anything massive. But then this is the AI. It probably cheats. Builds itself a huge army anyway. But we've gone past Portugal. At least I'm pretty sure we have. Granada's just destroyed. Oh, that's that. What's left of Granada's army? Wow, faction destroyed. There we go. Principality of Wales gone. Uh, wavering. Got wavering loyalty for someone else, or Dorno. Well, aggressive, 
Let's just deal with this. Kill this chap. Excellent. And now we have Severe. Now we control like all of the south of Spain. I could subjugate them, but no. Why would I do that? We're reconquistering here, boys. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. We'll repair that one, and we'll repair that. And I'll repair that as well. Uh, you need upgrading. We'll give you authority, and we'll give you spread influence. So now, I mean, religion should be... Yeah, Catholic Christianity is on the rise. That's what we like to see. You can see Granada is now starving. Um, Wales is now gone, so the English have finally dealt with the Welsh. It took them long enough. They can now go over and deal with the Irish. And then they have all of the uh, all of Britannia to themselves. That'll be very nice. Uh, looks like Aragon's got his, uh, a big stack up here. Is it racing back down? I really hope so. It's got a couple of big stacks up here. They need to race back down and defend their own lands. Because the Austrians have taken Barcelona. Good God, that's disgusting. I'm going to have to deal with the Austrians because I'm going to have to fight and take that back. Um, you can have campaign movement range and then I'll give you authority as well, I think. There we go. And then how... I mean, everywhere's... Yeah, this is not so happy yet, but we'll slowly be converting this in time. Slowly converting it. Religious difference is minus 20, yeah. So hopefully I can put some stuff in there in a bit. We'll sort that out. Um, Toulouse. On behalf of our people... Well, no, I don't think you want anything like that. Military access. No, you just want me to join a war with France, which I'm really not wanting right now. Um, I don't know. Pisa? Could I get you Be some welcome. stuff? No, talk. we're pretty much... Pre we're basically best buds. Be and Maybe not. Portugal, would you want a lot? Treat ah, Portugal actually would make peace, but I'm going to go to war with Portugal. Commander. There is no way they are getting out of this. Look at this elite army I'm building here. It's really, really elite. Um, and then I just really want to make peace with the Almohads. I don't think they're going to make it. They're number one in the Do world, apparently, still. I feel like I'm just going to have to keep an army garrisoned here. So, like, the new army would be, like, the king's army. Would be probably raised up. And I'm probably just sending it, like, behind the main army here in Sevilla. At least it's not the main army, it's Garrison Fairs, because that would be very annoying. I'm glad it's, like, the main armies. Oh, here they come. They're nearly in range. I'm going to attack this army. There's absolutely no way he's going away with that. I didn't really want to attack him when he was in a fort, but I'll happily attack him now. This is, could be a big battle. This could be a very big battle. I don't know what the Portuguese are going to do. I might just stick in Sevilla for a moment because I might need to bring this other army down. I actually could bring this other army down to help in the war in the fight against Fez. Depends on if he gets that second army. Mission succeeded. There you go. The Reconquista is complete. So what does this do? Does it uh, uh, ensure the entirety? Okay, so you have loads of turns remaining. How long does this last for? Um, I don't know exactly. Um, just forever, I guess. Yeah, Reconquista completed. Emirate Grenade destroyed. Measles, okay. Assassinate a character. Oh, this g general, okay. Uh, but yeah, this looks like it just lasts forever. Looks like. Well, that's okay. I'm quite happy with that. Um, let's. I could put in a Catholic Priory. Not really. Well, I mean, actually, I could do with a Catholic Priory here. Um, but I'm going to put in trading docks. And, uh, well, Sevilla needs actually a lot more stuff. We need to convert some of this stuff, I just realized. Um, let's keep destroying that. Let's keep bringing in the money to destroy that as well. And what? So, yeah, we actually only get that first army. We only clash with this first army. Um, what do we get? We just get you. We get, we've got some cavalry. Not masses of good cavalry. So, how easy would it be for you just to get across? Actually, very easy. I actually honestly don't think you'll attack if... Can I just go out that way? No, apparently not. That's going to be most of my movement. I don't know if I could then get back. That's the problem. We cannot follow this order. And I don't really want to just leave this open for Portugal to come take. I could take this army on my own. With just this army. Um, archers, yeah. I mean, I can beat... It's just his uh, ballista. I just need to bait his cavalry away from his blister. If I can kill his general easily, then we easily route this stuff. So yeah, we'll fight this battle. So I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. 
Hey guys, and we are back on the battlefield, and as you can see, we are, uh, well, we're basically set up. We've got our spears in the center, we've got our archers and crossbows up front. We're going to have all our uh, javi cav on one flank. I'm going to try and use them and be aggressive and try and get around one flank and then try and get up ballistas in the back. But they actually are at the front at the moment, so whether they're just going to start shooting and picking me off, I do not know. Um, they are kind of trained on the same area where my general is. I might just move my general a little bit there. Uh, we are going to get some reinforcements. I think it's just the governor... Uh, coming out to come support. He's giving his support, you know, as you do. Are they moving forward? They are moving forward. That's fine. They can move forward. They're probably thinking, let's move forward before the army of reinforcements arrive. And there you go. That's the army of reinforcements. <laughs> He's arrived. The battle is saved. Is this ballista firing? No. Oh, it's not actually got a great, great range. I was thinking it had, like, huge range. But it's got... It's got okay range. It's got, like, an archer's range. The enemy has been spotted. Um, uh, yeah, it's mainly the blisters I'm a bit worried about. The Javi Cav's probably also going to be quite annoying. I might have to just try and just shoot down the Javi Cav. I might have to play a bit aggressive. My spears should beat their spears. They've not even got, like, many. It's just I've got no uh, melee cav, like, or, like, shot cav, apart from my generals. Uh, I'm kind of okay to just, like, waste Ordorno. I'm pretty sure he's not very loyal to Ordorno. So if we kill him accidentally, well, that's just a shame. Um, uh, <laughs> who... It's not really the end of the world if he dies. Uh, but yeah, I mean, most of this, these spears here are not that great. So we should be able to kill these guys off pretty quickly. Just fast forward for now. Uh, see see what the uh, the armor had to do. They really want Fez back by the looks of it. Really want I mean, these archers also are not that great. I think I could beat them, but I don't know. These are, the my militia, my guys aren't also that great. They, they see them as low threat. They see most things as low threat. I kind of want to get this general. I try and want to bait him out and kill him. He's a medium shot cav to my well, heavy shot cav. We will see what we can do. These blisters getting a bit closer, but not. Again, they're not like that great in range, to be honest. I mean, they're better like getting artillery, like proper artillery. Why the Alma had thought they had to recruit some ballistas? Well, I could play aggressive with these guys, uh, these uh, horse archers. I could just run down loads of uh, archers of like theirs. That's possibly what I'm going to try and do, because they were really good in that first battle that we used them. They uh, were very, very good. And they're going to come forward. They're going to be aggressive, even though I was the one that attacked. They're going to be the ones that are going to come to me. Perfectly fine with me. There we go. Right. Let's see if we can send our generals out there. Go and scare these guys away. Now, I didn't think we'd get much, if any, of them. Can we just can we just keep you like sort of there? Let's have you sort of there, and then let's have. Oh, they're actually fighting my cavalry. Okay. They're actually going to go and find my gen. Wow, I did not see that coming. And they're actually going to come and attack me over here. The actual audacity. Get out of here. Uh, Spears, you're going to move forward. I do not want you just stood here, taking shots. This is going to be a tough one. Yeah, my cavalry here just got swamped. I did not even see this. But, should be able to turn that around. Should be able to turn that around. Yeah, they're falling back. Look at that. Fools. Um, and I'm going to kill all this cavalry here. There we go. Spears are in. Shoot their general at the back. Route this this guy here. And then... There we go. Sort out an early little uh, sort of worry there, but nothing too major. Why are you dying? Wow, he is dying quickly. Can you just kill these guys off quickly, please? Uh, go over here. Shoot this guy. Oh, they charge my spears. They charge my spears. Damn, 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 damn. Not see that. That's uh, General dead. That's all Dorno dead. That's okay. Get back over, General. My spears are losing. Wow, I am surprised. Now they have the cavalry advantage, which is what I was worried about. Spears 
Spears, you need a rally. All right, come over here. Run down these archers. Get that ballista. Ah, uh, the ballista doing a lot of damage to my uh, my men. Need to get in behind. Do a lot of stuff. Men have rallied. Okay. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. There we go, we've routed there, and this could be a really rough fight. Not one we want to remember by the looks of it. There we go, break these men. Oh, come on, you stupid horse archers. Stop being annoying like that. Go over here, route some of these guys for me. And there we go, rousing these guys. I'm going to lose a lot of archers. That's fine. They can replenish. This army's not going anywhere anytime soon. That was a close one. The armor hands nearly beat me. Those horse archers, man, they're annoying. I need to get a few more maybe myself, or I need to get some proper cavalry in this army. Like, it shows that when you don't have cavalry, like... Or properly, like proper good cavalry. You're in a bit of trouble. Where's my other cavalry? My other light cavalry. Get over here and come and kill this. There we go. Can kill their general now. Oh, Dolno's dead, which is not the end of the world either. That's just the governor gone. That's just a shame. An unfortunate one at that. Put it like that. There we go. General's dead. Keep going, keep going. Get these ballistas. Run them down. Yeah, my spear, my, like, these cheaper spears actually held longer than the, uh, the more elite spears. But then the more elite spear did get charged by cavalry. The men are running. Stand and fight, like, the only time I think I've been caught out by cavalry so far in this playthrough is that, that charge there. Can you just come over here and help kill these guys? So all these slingers are winning this combat. There you go, routed. Turn that around. And a victory. A close victory indeed. I'd certainly say it was close. Um, yeah, they got a lot more kills. The general, like, look at that Javi Cav. 180 kills this one got here. Uh, and then we like, 94. And then, yeah, the Javi Cav was really nasty. My mind did quite well. Uh, I should get everything back. It's not too beating up. My spears here, two kills. They're the most elite spears I have. But my general came in clutch with a 308 kills. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that might not be enough to take... Like, the thing is that we took a lot of losses there. On the one gen... Uh, like, one there. Um, let's put integrity in, and then let's put... Commander's unit. Then you can have that, and then you can have zeal. Um, I'm presuming we're going to need an, a new governor. Can rebuild everything, even though they're probably going to just re-siege it. Quite possibly, I don't know. Um, let's have a look at governors. Oh yeah, we need one for Andalusia and for Riff. Oh, no, it wasn't that Un Alfonso. That was a loyalist. Damn it! <laughs> God damn it! A loyalist died. Wasn't one of the rebels gun. Oh, this is a general who's in Riff. That's just the one. So we kind of wanted Alfonso to die, not um, the guy that I think that did die. Oh, that's a shame. He died for nothing then. Died for nothing. Um, how old is this guy now? He's 12, 10. Okay, so they get in there. Nearly of marriageable age. Just a few more years. But we'll end the turn. Oh, I should have seen whether the Almohad would have made peace after that big old battle. The Almohad pretenders are still around. So they are putting out, uh, putting down pretenders. They are falling back as well. Okay. So we'll have to see whether we can, uh, we can do anything with the... Uh, like the arm hats next turn, whether it's like make a peace, whatever. Certainly, I mean, it's good. I mean, apart from the disease that's now in Fez, it's certainly good to see that Fez is not uh, like in danger. Granada and Fez really need sanitation. Just everywhere needs sanitation. Sanitation for all. And that's why I think one of my techs is like to get better sanitation, like buildings. Arm hat pretenders, food shortage in Andalusia. Uh, okay, let yeah, let's see what tech I'm doing currently.
Oh, I'm not even there yet. It's this one. I'm still going to take a long time to get better tech, like better um, sanitation. Could obviously do Catholic priority. It gives me better sanitation as well. I'm actually kind of tempted at this point. I need the money. I not need some money. Need the sanitation. Need the sanitation. Uh, let's put in a Leprosium, possibly. Yeah, it's just, again, for sanitation reasons. And you can upgrade, it would seem. Let's see. What can we do for you? Success chance and inspire population, I think, is always a good one. And that's now going plus one with you there. I want to go and have a, just a sneak, sneaky peek and see what Avora's got. They've got a big stack. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait for them to make the move then. I will just let Seville rebuild. I'm not even like converted half of it yet. I could do with doing that. Diplomacy I could really do as well with some marriages and defensive alliances and stuff like that that people are going to pay heavy prices for. But I don't think we're going to get any anytime soon. I'm just mad that Austria's got all the way from here just down to Catalonia just to come and take out Aragon. So annoying. Aragon, please tell me you're back in your own territory now. They're not! They're not anywhere near their own territory. They're going to retake lands over here by the looks of it. Honestly, think that they're done for. So, yeah, so uh, basically, I think looking at what we've got left, I'm sorry, apologies, but I had to like just do a cut. I had to go and. Uh, just go and help with some uh, some moving of some uh, items. So uh, yeah, it looks like Aragon's gonna go and try and take like the Genoese lands back. I mean, they were technically at one point Aragonese lands, and then before that, Pro uh, Provence's lands. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to probably go and help them in some way at some point. Well, not help them, but help them by annexing them. I think is probably the best way of putting it. I could now go and d d betray them and uh, stuff like that. I may do that at some point. I don't know. Um, I mean, I, need, I want to deal with Spain, uh, with Portugal first, since I've declared war on them. Dealing with them is probably the first port of call. Uh, I'm going to raise a new army soon. I'm going to raise it in Pamplona. I'm going to then go north to Braga, take Braga. That is the plan. Uh, I can't obviously raise them yet. Don't have the money. But I'm also waiting for the king to come of age, and he can lead the army. Uh, we have a skill for Luis. Uh, no, you cannot have none of those. You can go down here, and then you can have public order. So Cordoba is also looking very happy now. Excellent. Excellent stuff. And the armor had to keep doing stuff my agents. I think he's killed him as well. What a absolute piece of filth he was. Killing a holy man. That's not a, that's not okay, but then he's a Muslim. He wouldn't know. I'm joking. Muslims, I'm sure, are <laughs> very kind people. Apart from when you're at war with them like this. And you've pushed them out of their homeland, which they settled in hundreds of years ago, just because you had it before. Them. They were not very nice people, of the Christians, really. I'm not even really a Christian, but there you go. Uh, enemy gave close to destroy. They didn't even kill him. They couldn't even. We're down to 600 a turn. What the heck happened? Food shortage and riff. England's always been a Balearic population surplus. Yes, because. I've not done the first one yet. Peace treaty. No. They're still not happy for peace. Are the Mariners settled yet? No. Can they just settle? Honestly, think we're just going to have to keep the army there. Keep garrisoning it. Uh, can I convert any of these? No, let's just destroy that again. I don't know why I haven't done that. And let's build a spirit maker. Spirit maker all the way. It's, it's just the play. It's how you uh, just, well, improve the population's happiness. Um... Fez is slowly going uh, to be happy as well. It's also got a garrison now. Look at that garrison. Oh boy, that garrison is going to do a lot. And we've got some Bastion uh, catapults, so we're looking good. So Fez is never getting taken. We could probably leave that and bring this army north. Uh, once with like the dust, is, the dust is settled. I mean, Christianity is going up pretty damn quickly here. Uh, what's going up quicker when we had our bishop? But he's been murdered. Uh, but we'll end the turn. I'm just trying to get through the turn so I can get to that king of age. And uh, I can then... They're back, you see. They just love love a little scrap. We can, honestly, I think we're going to have to keep the army there. Flanders? Oh, damn it. They're the aggressors. England got declared war on by Flanders? Okay, well, I'm at war with Flanders, even though I didn't really want to be. But uh, England called... Well, called me to arms. It's what you do as an ally. It's a shame.
I'm getting through all these little nations. Granada's about to rebel. Well, that's okay. Granada can rebel all it likes because I can put down any rebellion there. And also, Granada's a pretty good garrison. So that's okay. I mean, yeah, money-wise, why are we so low on money at the moment? Is it just because we have so much disease everywhere? I mean, that's actually sorted itself out. Mercy's still not sorted its disease out. Uh, Palma. I mean, we have more. I mean, actually, I could do with still converting stuff in Severe. I can't even convert that yet. I could convert this to, I think, a cattle herd. I think it's the best. I just built that thing in Palma. Not even got anything for it. But there you go. Uh, I could just go raiding. I could just go raid Algiers. Uh, get all the money from there. That's not a bad idea in the world. Like, the worst thing in the world to do. Money. Yeah, I mean, actually, I don't even really have the money to go and recruit a new army. To, like, then push north. So I'm going to need this army orders. freed up. Put into Sevilla. Then maybe send this one north. Go to Evora. Um, because that's kind of what... No, well, not Evora. Braga, sorry. Evora's here. Um, that's what I was thinking. Because you actually can easily tell where the army is. It's in here, which is plus 28. So that's where the army is. Um, and I'll be able to tell when it leaves. How big is this army? Oh, this is a pretty big army. But it's this army of mine is replenished pretty quickly as well. And there you go. Christianity's looking happy again. This is slowly going to sort itself out. Because this is only ha unhappy, minus 27, because of religious differences. As soon as that gets to, like, 50%, it's going to start, like, being ridiculously lower, and I can start getting this army moving somewhere else. And Fez, like I said, can look after itself now. It's looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, so I think we'll end the turn once more, and we'll see what happens. Almohads just don't want to, have to make peace. Like I said, oh, Portugal want peace, though. I would give you peace, but I've got better things to be doing with my time. Like, And I also need to reconquer you. The Almohads are bringing up the stacks, though. I hope that Castile goes and take Algiers. Just to try and force peace. Okay, and then... Gen oh, God. There's so many people here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to lose. I'm going to have to break the alliance. There's no way I'm going to war with all of the Holy Roman Empire, which is just pouring into, like, Spanish territories. It's not even Basque territories, which I guess is what you call uh, Toulouse. Uh, Granada's like army here is just spawned out like a popped out like a little pretenders That was I guess the rebels for this turn, but we'll kill them. I'll send the army back kill him. Oh, he's gonna come do it anyway Oh, he's not even And we've got Constantinius a new Pope money's gone back up. That's good to see there you go Oh, and he's gonna have damaged all those buildings just because yes, I hate that like a tiny little army like that Has the ability to then siege down and damage all the buildings in here there's some of the buildings in here. I don't know if he will. Yeah. Look at that. It's so frustrating. How he thinks he could do that. <laughs> I guess that's why you keep your cities happy and stuff. But yeah, it's actually not even sorted now. Should sort itself out in a bit of time, but not just yet, apparently. Uh, and then, money-wise, we could build some more stuff. Actually, we can't. We've got nothing. nothing no buildings are worth a thousand. Uh, yeah, I'm no longer allied with Toulouse. They are deteriorating as a shame. Could be better allying with the Holy Roman Emperor. Part. But don't think that's happening anytime soon. My salutations and the good wishes. I could make a non-aggression with them. I'm not wanting a non-aggression. I'm going to war with them eventually. Uh, Papal States. The day's greetings to you. No, I don't think you want anything. France. I welcome you on behalf of the people. No, but we're actually improving because I think we've broken alliance with Toulouse. They love me for that. So that is no surprise there. Um, can't recruit anything. I don't really need to recruit anything. Where is that? That's plus 29 now. Yep. Um, how's the king doing? He's still 14. Our dominion is so low. So low. Um, we need to sort that out. Our power is pitiful as well. We need to get this back up to like here. Control's okay, but nothing amazing. Uh, yeah, so like I said, we need to get this guy going soon. So we're going to end the turn. We need a governor? Okay, we'll have a governor then. Uh, we've got entrepreneur, Belasco, supply, and leader. Yeah, so we'll bring Belasco in. We'll put him into um, put him into Riff. So it's then pretty happy. So uh, I'll have it on. I'll have it on growth because that helps with commerce and stuff like that. I know that, like it helps with growth. We don't need the growth, but we can do with the commerce. There was a skill that I needed doing Dorno here. Uh, 
I'm going to give you... Oh, no, you already got that. Have wealth and then have construction cost. And there we go. Valencia is turning very nicely. It's going very Catholic, very nicely. Yeah, look, that's good to see Castile sending armies in the direction of uh, Algiers. So uh, that'll distract the Almohads for a bit and maybe force them to the, like, peace table. Maybe. More than likely not. But we can pray. But we'll probably make this the last turn because, uh, well, we're coming up to the half hour mark. So uh, we could do with uh, wrapping this episode up. I think we made a little bit of progress. It's obviously taking Sevilla. We're going to move on to Vora next. Got some population surplus in Cordoba. Excellent. Uh, we still need to like change this to a... Uh, yeah. This might take ages to do anyway. That might take a lot of time. So I might be better just building... Um, Building some more cities or more buildings elsewhere, which can then improve stuff. I mean, Fez, yeah, looking okay. Could do with, yeah, I would like to, how much does it cost for 2,100? Yeah, let's get the next level of sanitation going, because we're clearly having a problem here with sanitation uh, in various different cities at the moment. Because they've got such an industry-heavy economy in some areas. You're now 15. One more year, I think, and then you can command armies. I'm pretty sure. That might be the uh, the case. Let's have a look at Romania. And let us be on. No, I don't think we, hey, we can really do trade Welcome, with any of these guys. I, trust you. I did not expect him to say no to that, but he did. Um, and then, yeah, we not really get on really with anyone else. I mean, Pisa we get on well with. We have an alliance with Pisa, I think. Welcome, no, we have non. Yeah, friend. we have non-aggression and military access. Can't have, I guess, because they're a vassal, or they're they got military allies of people that we're at war with, like or our allies are at war with. I think maybe that's the case. I don't know, um, but yeah, that is probably where we're going to wrap up today's episode. Already, look at that, Fez is converting so quickly. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we made a little bit of progress, and uh, we're taking severe. And uh, we've defeated a few armies over here. But if you have enjoyed, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and leave a comment to show your support. As always, the support is very much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when the next episode of this playthrough is out. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will say bye.